Let me guess, you have an Android tablet or phone that's struggling with some performance issues and you're looking for how to make it run faster. Well, here are five more ways to make your Android device run faster. I already made a part one to this video a couple of months ago, so if you don't see something that you were expecting, then you can go check that video out right after you watch this one. The first tip to make your Android tablet run faster is to optimize as often as possible. Now, optimizing your device just serves as a way to kind of soft reset a couple of things going on with the tablet. It closes off some background applications and turns off some background processes to improve the performance. And I know you're not going to want to go through your settings to optimize this every single day. Fortunately, technology has come to a point where you can automate this entire process. Let me show you how. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to your settings app Go to battery and device care and then tap on the three dots on the top of the screen. When you do that, you're gonna see an option called automation. When you tap on that, there are two options there, auto optimize daily and auto restart at set times. So let's take a look at auto optimize daily. What it says is it's gonna optimize your tablet automatically once a day without you noticing. Now, if closed apps to turn off free memory is turned on, some background apps will be closed, but not your most recent apps. So you can set a particular time for this process to go on. I set mine to 3 a.m. in the morning because I don't want the optimization to happen while I'm using the tablet. And I also turned on close apps to free up memory so it closes up apps I left open in the background. This is a very useful and essential tip for making your Android tablet run faster, especially if it's a Samsung tablet. The device I'm using is the Samsung Tab S6 Lite and it also has a feature called auto restart at set times. Now, what this does is as the name suggests, it restarts your tablet automatically within one hour of the time that you have set. There are some conditions to be met though. The screen has to be off, the tablet isn't being used, your battery is above 30% and the SIM card lock is turned off. You can set the date and time you want your tablet to automatically restart. I've set mine for Sunday at 3 a.m. because I mean, who uses their tablet on Sunday morning at 3 a.m. But yeah, that's the time I set my tablet to restart and I've realized that restarting your tablet is very essential for the performance health and it is very useful. If you want to find out why exactly, after this one, go watch the part one of this video. But all that aside, if you're not using a Samsung tablet, then these options might not be available for you. Tip number two will be sure to help you though. And that is using light browsers and applications. Whoa, 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 I know you're wondering, oh, what are light applications and what are light browsers? Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but if you go to the Play Store and search for Facebook, for example, you will see the default Facebook app, but that is very, very heavy and bulky. Thanks, Mark Zuckerberg. Besides from that, you can also see something called Facebook Lite and Messenger Lite. A lot of applications have light versions for devices that don't have a lot of performance capabilities. They take up less storage, they take up less performance power as well, and they're overall just better for the performance of your device. So get rid of Instagram, Facebook, and so on and so forth, and install Instagram Lite, Facebook Lite, Messenger Lite, and even some light versions of your browsers, like Opera, Chrome, or whatever it is that you use. And you will be surprised to find out just how much better your performance gets because these light apps don't take up as much space or memory as the heavier full apps. There's even a TikTok light app for you TikTok addicts out there. Yeah, I know, you, I'm talking to you. Go get some help. The third way to make your Android tablet run faster is to disable pre-installed apps. If you have an Android tablet that is made from Samsung or maybe some other company, there will definitely most likely be some bloatware or some pre-installed applications. Some of the biggest culprits are social media applications like Facebook, which come pre-installed with your tablet. And I know you might not be able to completely uninstall them, but what you can do is touch and hold on the icon tap the details button and then go to the settings and disable this application. What it does is it completely shuts down this application, preventing it from taking up precious storage and memory space and preventing it from munching on the performance of your tablet. You can also get rid of some pre-installed apps like the Galaxy Gift app, the Samsung Smart Tutor app, Samsung Members and so on and so forth. Yeah, Samsung is really notorious for having bloatware on their tablets, even in 2022. But getting rid of useless pre-installed applications not only frees up internal storage, but it also prevents these applications from taking up precious resources in the background, making your tablet run faster when you uninstall them. So do yourself a favor, sit down 
and take a good hard look at all the applications you have on your tablet. Do you really need all of them? If not, get rid of them. An added advantage for this process will come later in the video. But if you've been enjoying it so far, then leave a comment with the glasses emoji, just so I know you made it this far in the video. The fourth way to increase the performance of your tablet or to make your tablet run faster is what I know a lot of you have been expecting to see. And it's something I touched on in my previous video, and that is increasing or rather reducing the animation scaling. Yes, yes, I know. It doesn't really make your tablet run faster. But it does make your tablet feel significantly faster. Trust me. But if you don't believe me, then I'll bring in past Johannes to explain the entire process to you. Now to do this, you're gonna to wanna to go to your settings. From there, scroll down to about tablet, software information, and then build number. Tap the build number until you see a message saying developer options are now enabled. After you've enabled your developer options, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to developer options and go down the menu until you find the transition animation options. There are three options. You're gonna see your window animation scale, your transition animation scale, and your animator duration scale. By default, these will be set to one, but you can set them down to 0.5, which is the preferred option, or you can set them down to zero. But if you set them down to zero, your tablet is going to look a little bit choppy and very unnatural and unpleasant to the eye. So I would advise you to set them to 0.5 as this is the perfect balance between having smooth animations but still feeling some performance improvements. Ooh, okay, thanks Pastor Johannes. Um, that was a really, really interesting walkthrough. And uh, yeah, so I guess you understand the process behind this and why it does make your tablet feel faster. But like he said, be careful with just how much you reduce the animation scaling just so you don't end up with your tablet looking like it's on crack. Now, before we get to the fifth and final tip, here are two honorable mentions. One, you can free up your internal storage. It's well known that when a device is getting to its storage limit or it's starting to get full, it begins to slow down significantly. What you can do is to go into your file manager, check for which files are the biggest and which ones you are not using, and then just delete them, get rid of them. You don't need 4K videos of cats playing the piano for 16 hours. I mean, come on, bro. So get rid of those big files taking up so much space on your tablet and you'll thank me later. Now, the second honorable mention is to clear your data cache from time to time. And I know some of you are like, why am I supposed to do that? It's only gonna make the application open up slower at the end of the day. But what this does is it also gets rid of some glitches and application abnormalities that might have been happening in the cached data or hiding in the cached data. I don't know if you've noticed some applications misbehaving and then when you clear the cache, it starts acting normal. Yeah, so some applications like Facebook, I don't know why I'm targeting Facebook today. Well, I mean, to be honest, no one should be using Facebook. Some applications like Facebook can create data caches that are really, really huge, like up to 200, 300, 400 megabytes huge. So that also takes up space in your internal storage. Clear up the data cache for most of your applications from time to time, and you will see a noticeable performance boost. And tip number five, I think this is the most straightforward tip, and that is keep your tablet up to date. Yeah, I know some of you are out there and you haven't updated your tablet since the day you got it. Why? 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 Some tablets of nowadays are able to run up to the latest Android version, which is Android 12. My Tab S6 Lite of 2020 is running the latest Android 12 and it's a budget tablet. It's not even, it doesn't have to be expensive. It's not the most expensive tablet out there. So please, please, please check your system, software, options, go to your settings, check for your software updates and keep your tablets up to date. It doesn't have to be a big OS update. It could just be a security patch or some bug fixes or things like that. But more often than not, these patches serve to fix performance issues and performance errors as well. So if your tablet is up to date, it is more than likely to be running on the most optimal speed it can run. And if all else fails, maybe you've got some malware or some software glitches, then you're gonna have to nuke everything. Operation Scorched Earth Protocol, just factory reset the tablet. I know a lot of people don't wanna hear that, but sometimes you just have some stubborn malware that refuses to leave. And what you can do is to factory reset your tablet to help restore things to order. Now, if you've done any of these, I think I mentioned eight tips. But just to be sure, let's go through them once again. So 
One, auto optimize and auto restart. Two, use light applications and light browsers. Three, disable pre-installed apps or completely remove them if possible. Four, reduce the animation scaling and your honorable mentions. One, reduce the internal storage that you are using, delete the big apps and the big files, and also clear your cache from time to time. And number five, if all else fails, make sure your tablet is always up to date. Then the scorched earth protocol, factory reset. If nothing else works, factory reset. If you've tried all of these things and they still don't make your Android tablet run faster, well, damn, leave that in the comment section below, but also check out my previous video on five ways to make your Android tablet run faster. It's gonna be here or here. I don't know, check out the video. And before you go there, subscribe to the channel.